This is a case of a drop in the nucleus shared by Dr. Yerda Kandemir from Bursa, Turkey. In this video, we discuss a technique to approach a drop in the nucleus using perfluorocarbon liquid to bring it to the anterior chamber and to remove it with phaco emulsification. The first steps to remove the vitreous scar and all membranes in the pupil and anterior chamber. If necessary, you can turn off the microscope light and use the chandelier or in the illumination for better visualization of the posterior lens capsule and to avoid damaging the residual capsule support. Posterior hyaloid detachment maneuver is more difficult in the presence of a large nucleus in the posterior pole, but adequate vitreous removal is critical to prevent iatrogenic breaks. So, surgeon injects a spray fluor to fill the vitreous cavity and until bring the nucleus to the pupillary plane. Sometimes the fragment keeps behind the iris and so you can use a scleroda pressure to help place it in the correct position. It is important to use a valved system or place plugs in the trochers to avoid leakage, perfluorate loss or nucleus reeling. So use phaco handpiece to remove the nucleus. If possible, try do not break the nucleus in several pieces to avoid that they drop it again to the vitreous cavity. It's important to review the vitreous basis to remove all fragments and to treat an eventual retinal break. And in the end, if the anterior support is intact, you can place a three-piece IOL in this ciliary sucus. <laughs>